Hey guys, how's it going? I am back with my Lego helicopter today and I want to do a, a little illustration here and demonstration on vortex ring state and settling with power. Now, I might start a little bit of a heated uh, debate on this, but vortex ring state and settling with power are not the same thing. Okay, now contrary to what the FAA teaches, and I'm not sure about in Europe what they teach, uh, they actually teach that it's the same thing. They're completely different things. I'm gonna do a, a little explanation today as to how I think they're different. It's not my opinion, this is uh, Transport Canada's opinion. Um, everyone in Canada feels this way. And, um, and then I'm gonna link a video at the very end of this video um, for a company in Switzerland that does a phenomenal actual demonstration of this. So I'm just gonna get into talking about what vortex ring state is, first of all, how you get into it, and, uh, and then what settling with power is, okay? So first of all, how do you get into vortex ring state? The helicopter actually has to be in a descent. It has to be in a vertical descent. So they say typically if you're flying less than 30 knots and you're descending at less, or sorry, greater than 300 feet per minute, that's when you could typically start to get into vortex ring state. Realistically, you have to have zero forward airspeed. So the helicopter has to be descending vertically. So even if you had, let's say 20 knots of forward airspeed, but had a 20 knot tailwind, the relative airflow of the helicopter would actually be going zero. So the helicopter has to be descending vertically. It has to be descending about 500 feet per minute is what it physically takes to get into vortex ring state, okay? And what it actually is, is the helicopter is getting into its own downwash, okay? So um, if you guys aren't aware of this, helicopters, when the blades are spinning and, and there's pitch on the blades, they create a downwash underneath the helicopter. When the helicopter starts sinking quickly enough, that downwash starts to recirculate and the air that's entering the rotor system, actually the, the angle of attack of that air actually matches the angle of attack of the blades. Okay, so the angle of the air that's coming in matches the angle of the attack of the blades and the blade itself physically starts to stall, okay? Now this happens at the root of the rotor blade, okay? So here's the rotor blade, um, there's the tip of the rotor blade, here's the root of the rotor blade, and there's actually a difference in pitch angle and speed of the rotor depending on if it's at the root here or if it's out at the tip. And so what happens is as that air comes around, you're descending down through it, and the air comes back around and it starts to recirculate, right here at the, the root of the rotor, it's getting no lift. It's like an airplane that stalls. You guys have all heard of airplanes that stalls when it's an airplane that stalls when it goes too slow. It's the same thing with a helicopter. So it starts to stall in the middle and then it slowly works its way out the longer you're in vortex ring state and, and eventually it becomes the entire rotor system that's actually in a state of stalling, okay? Now here's the danger. While you're sinking, and you're trying to recover from this, if you start to raise the collective thinking, okay, I'm coming at the ground too quickly, I'm gonna raise the collective to try and get out of this, the more you increase the pitch of the blade, the more the blade is actually gonna stall. Therefore, the recovery from uh, when you're in vortex ring state is not raising the collective by itself. That's actually gonna cause it to be worse and the helicopter is gonna sink faster, okay? How do you first get into this? How do you actually get into vortex ring state? Well, if you're coming in on, a, on your approach, you've shot your approach too quickly, well, most of the time what happens is the helicopter pulls back the nose, he brings the helicopter to stop, to a, a hover, and then he sinks very quickly. So it's, it's basically shooting the approach incorrectly, slows down too much, gets a really quick descent rate happening. And when this is happening, you're actually not in vortex ring state, okay? That's the real critical thing because your collective is down, your pitch is relatively flat on the blades, you're not in vortex ring state at this point because you're not creating a lot of downwash. The vortex ring state starts when you start to raise that collective and you're trying to slow down the helicopter. Now the danger of this is because that typically happens when you're close to the ground. So you're coming in, you're finishing off that approach and you decide, okay, I'd like to slow down now. So you're raising that collective up to try and slow that rotor system, to slow the helicopter down. And that's when you get into vortex ring state. When you apply pitch to the blades, the air starts to recirculate and it starts to stall here then you're in vortex ring state, okay? Now, there's a recovery for it. They used to teach push forward cyclic and then raise the collective slowly. But, well actually no, that's not true. Push forward cyclic, lower the collective initially to fly out of that rotor wash. Think about a big column of air that you're in, to fly away from that rotor wash 
and then you can go ahead and raise collective. That, that method actually takes quite a while, and typically it's too late at that point and you hit the ground and you'll crash the helicopter, okay? So what they're teaching now, and I believe it's called the uh, Vauchard method, um, and this guy in Switzerland, he's, from what I understand, he's the founder of it. I think Robinson um, also developed the same method. So what they've decided is to, the quickest way to get out of that column of air is actually to sidestep it, okay? So what, um, what we were taught when we were over at the gimbal factory in France um, is when you're in that vortex ring state, use some left cyclic in this case. So left cyclic, left pedal at the same time to keep the helicopter co coordinated and then immediately start raising the collective. So as soon as you start sidestepping that column of air, immediately start raising the collective, and within about usually 20 to 30 feet of descent, you can get out of that vortex ring state. It's actually a very quick method, and it's very effective. You guys are gonna see that in the illustration of that at the end of this video, okay? So recovery, left cyclic, um, raise the collective, some left pedal to keep it in trim as well, raise the collective, and you'll get out of that descending column of air, okay? Key factor here, vortex ring state, the blades are actually in a state of stalling, okay? Now I'm gonna to get to settling with power. Okay, so with settling with power, it's essentially the helicopter has too much mass and inertia, okay? The analogy I could use is if you had a nice big old heavy car and you're on slippery roads, maybe it's winter time and you got icy roads, and you're coming up to a stop sign, you've got too much speed. Let's say the speed limit's 50 kilometers an hour and you're cruising along at 80 kilometers an hour. And you're cruising along and all of a sudden, hey, you see a stop sign, you slam on your brakes, okay? When you slam on the brakes, what's gonna happen? Well, the car is gonna slow down. Is it gonna slow down in time to stop for that stop sign? No, why? Because you have too much mass and too much inertia, okay? You're gonna slide through that stop sign. Eventually, you will come to a stop, that is correct, yes, but it's gonna take too long and you're gonna slide through that stop sign. It's exactly the same thing with a helicopter, okay? Settling with power is when you come in on your approach, you can have forward speed. You're not in a state of vortex ring state where you're stalling the rotor system. You can have forward speed. Um, you don't have to even be descending necessarily greater than 500 feet per minute, but you're coming in too fast and you don't physically have enough time and enough power to stop that helicopter from hitting the ground, okay? The helicopter's loaded up really heavy and you're coming in on that approach and you decide, okay, now it's time to start pulling that collective in and slowing the helicopter down and you're pulling, 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 pulling and the helicopter is slowing down. That's a key factor. The helicopter is slowing down, but it just physically doesn't have enough time and enough power to get it stopped before it hits and crashes into the ground, okay? Do you guys see the key differentiating factor there? Settling with power, when you're coming in on that approach and landing, if you pull collective, the helicopter does slow down. It will, if you had enough time, it will eventually stop it, okay? If on your, on, on, in vortex ring state, if you pull that collective, what's gonna happen? Remember back at the beginning of the video, the helicopter is actually gonna descend quicker because those blades are stalling now, and the more you pull, the more downwash you're creating, and you're sucking more air into that rotor system, you're actually gonna descend faster. Two completely different answers. If this was a test question, and they were asking what, do you, what happens when you raise collective and you're settling with power, you're actually gonna slow down the helicopter. If you raise collective when you're in vortex ring state, the helicopter will not slow down, it'll continue accelerating towards the ground. Key differentiating factor, you guys. Okay, so now we, can, we have three terms, and I just did a video a couple of videos ago about um, over-pitching the helicopter, okay? So over-pitching um, doesn't necessarily have to happen with too much mass and inertia. It's just simply when we demand too much power out of the engine and it can't keep up, okay? So I can be in a hover, I can come to a stop, and I can hover, and then I can realize oh, you know what, this, hell, this engine doesn't have enough power to keep those blades spinning fast enough, and so eventually those blades start slowing down and the helicopter starts to sink. That's over pitching, okay? Do you guys agree then that if I came in settling with power, too much mass and inertia, and I'm pulling, 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 that settling with power can lead to over pitching? That, that would be a true statement, right? When I'm pulling so much collective to try and slow this helicopter down, I'm demanding too much power from that engine, and so these blades do start to slow down, and so now I over pitch the helicopter, and I'll probably crash it. Unless I've had a chance to slow it down enough, and I have a nice flat surface, I may be able to get it to touch the ground without crashing. I might be able to set it down on a nice soft spot, okay? 
All right, so those are the three key factors, vortex ring state, settling with power, and then settling with power can lead to overpitching. They are not the same thing either though. You can overpitch without settling with power. You can just simply come into a hover and then realize, oh, I don't have enough power. The blades are starting to slow down. I don't have any throttle left and the helicopter starts to sink, okay? I, go, I hope you guys understand this. I'm now gonna put a link in to the amazing um, illustration. You guys gotta check this out. It is really phenomenal. They use the Llama helicopter um, spray gear and, and you actually get to see the mist from the spray gear um, circulating and, and showing exactly what happens with that vortex ring state and, and a good recovery for it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, share it with somebody, especially somebody who thinks that settling with power and vortex ring state are the same thing. Um, maybe we'll start a heated discussion on this. I'm looking forward to hearing from your guys' comments in the comment section below. And uh, now check out this next video.